So last night I decided to post a lot of tweets from my alt, one of my alts, to my main account. Uh, I have a number of alts at this point. They're they're really growing. <laughs> I'm uh, already thinking of launching new ones. Um, I find them really helpful for exploring different themes and uh, boundaries and possibilities. The one that I was cross-posting from is my sort of personal alt that has close friends in it. Um, and I've been exploring a lot of ideas there that I hadn't been comfortable sharing publicly yet. And last night I was in a mood of just uh, to heck with it. These are going live now. <laughs> so I searched my alt for uh, just a bunch of really good tweets from the last months and cross-posted them to Maine. And that's actually part of the reason to do it is that um, th this alt is a locked alt. And so it's a lot harder to search. There's not very good search for locked alts, unfortunately. So I just wanted to be able to search for these and uh, put them on main. But I also wanted the ideas to get more exposure. And I don't know, there must have been like something like 100 tweets that I cross-posted and uh, threaded and stuff, um, depending on what they were. And there was a lot in there. And I'm imagining that some of them got missed last night that not everyone will have seen them that might want to see them or benefit from them. But there's also a sense that because of Twitter search and threading and stuff that I'll come back to them in due time and like point them out in appropriate moments uh, where relevant. But there was one idea that I wanted to speak a little bit about in this video because I had been very hesitant to share it publicly. It's interesting to me to look at like why I'm willing to say certain things publicly and why I'm not willing to say certain things publicly. There's a lot of heuristics that I have around these things that aren't necessarily completely conscious or explicit to me. Some of them are about like, is this going to be helpful or hurtful? Um, is it going to be like inflammatory in some way like I don't really need that uh, I think this one was more about nuance like uh, the timeline isn't great for nuance people don't do very well with nuance it's easier to have simple straightforward ideas and this one merits some nuance exactly what I mean and how I'm holding it so I wanted to go into some detail in this video about it um the basic idea is uh, I'm talking about heavenly realms, and from a Buddhist perspective, there are uh, many hell realms and heavenly realms and other kinds of realms, the realms of the hungry ghosts, the animal realms, the human realms. There are lots of realms. It's not just like there's one heaven and one hell. There are many, 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 many realms. Um, and this is sort of similar to like a multiverse type idea, that there's just a lot of places you can go. And um, you sort of cycle through these different realms. You move through them and your actions, both both concrete and also mental and stuff like that, have consequences for where you are born and what realms you're carried into. Um, and this is something that I've thought a lot about and read a lot about from a Buddhist perspective that's been, you know, fruitful for me to consider and reflect on. Um, there's a few things there, though, with the nuance. One is, um, I don't know for sure that there are hell realms or heavenly realms. Some people just take them metaphorically, like that your experience can be hellish or heavenly, which I think is fruitful, but also limited, because if there really are hell realms, I think that merits deep reflection about how you should act so that you can avoid going to hell. That's basically how I hold it, is like, if there's a hell realm, I want to do everything in my power to avoid going to a hell realm. Um, I don't want to go to hell. Uh, 
and in my own mental sense making around this like it seems plausible to me that I have been in a hell realm previously because I'm just so deeply afraid of going to hell it could just be that I like grew up in a Christian culture and there's a lot of like hell symbolism all over the place and stuff like that but I didn't grow up in an especially Christian context and that just seems like a feeble explanation to me like incomplete not not having as much strength as the possibility that I've been in a hell realm before I don't know that for sure either though it just it just kind of clicks for me um so yeah that that you know not only is there part of the nuance is that I don't know that there are hell realms and that there are heavenly realms. I don't have like epistemic certainty about this, you know, <laughs> uh, not that I have epistemic certainty about anything, but definitely about this. It's just more that it's been a fruitful way of seeing. Um, the other side of it is like, yeah, I don't have certainty about the future, um, but the way it seems to me, this is just the way it seems to me when I look around, when I read the news, when I read things about what's happening in the world, when I just watch the patterns that I'm exposed to, it seems like things are changing. <laughs> I think everyone would agree with that. That's not particularly contentious. Things are changing and they're changing a lot. There's a lot going on on a lot of dimensions of civilization and the planet. And it's complex. It's complex. It's emergent. And all of the different factors are affecting each other. Um, changes in the economy, changes in the society, changes on the planet in terms of the climate and the ecosystem and the, all of that. Um, all of these things affect each other and there are large, unpredictable, complex, emergent side effects that compound and affect each other. And that means that things are changing very rapidly and uh, the scale of impact and consequence is very large. That's what it seems like to me. Uh, and so that's the first thing, things are changing. And the second is, broadly speaking, it seems to me like things will change in a generally good direction or a generally bad direction. Maybe it's more complex than that, that some things will get better and some things will get worse, but it seems, uh, uh, how to put it, like a choice point, like a pivot point where things are going to be radically, dramatically different in large, irrevocable ways that will either be net positive or net negative for human society, but also for the planet. And of course, it'll probably be more nuanced than that. Some changes will be good and some changes will be bad, but like one of the negative consequences that could happen is the human species goes extinct or the planet is irrevocably and uninhabitable for most life on earth. Um, I'm not up on all the latest, like say climate science or uh, say nuclear weapon science or things like that. But, you know, it, it seems like we're playing for keeps here. Uh, and that's that's a that's a real possibility as far as I can tell, um, which is not something I would put in a tweet either. That I'm concerned about like mass extinction or uh, the destruction of the planet for a few reasons. But anyway, that's a that's a side note. So anyway, things are changing, <laughs> things are changing, and it seems to me like they will be a net positive change or a net negative change, not only for humans but for all life on the planet. And it also seems to me, this is just my own sense making around what the heck is happening right now, could be totally wrong, but it seems to me there's a lot of momentum, a lot of energy, a lot of inertia towards the consequences being net negative. That things aren't going well. Uh, the climate, for example, great example, but other areas as well, you know, um, handling of COVID, political issues, instability, economics, things like that. It seems like there's a lot of momentum towards things going poorly. And from that perspective, you could describe it poetically or literally, however you want to take it as there's a lot of momentum towards us going to a hell realm, a, a negative consequence, very bad situation for humanity and life on the planet. But 
it also seems to me that there's a possibility that we could enter a net positive outcome, not just for humans, but for all life on the planet. It seems to me less likely currently that that will happen, but not impossible. There are a lot of positive signs that things could go well, that it seems like we could make it out of this thing fundamentally transformed, but in a positive way. Now, of course, I don't know what's going to happen. I don't know which is going to happen, but if there's a possibility that we could, again, metaphorically, poetically enter a hell realm, I want to avoid that. And if there's a possibility, metaphorically, poetically, that we could enter a heavenly realm, then I want that. And um, it's important, of course, that this heavenly realm be not just for humans, like, or not just a subpopulation of the humans, like the richest people or something, but actually for all humans and for all life on Earth, which would require radical transformation of how we interact with the planet, how our economy is structured, how our political systems work, etc. But it does seem possible to me that we could enter a net positive symbiotic beneficial relationship with the planet and other ecosystems on the planet. And that that would be tantamount to us entering a heavenly realm. And that could look like a lot of things. I see a lot of very interesting signals in terms of what might be possible for society. Um, things like collective sense-making or decision-making or collective art, um, alternative economic structures. Uh, I see a lot of interesting experimentation happening. Uh, and I'm obviously, this is, this is a huge, huge... Uh, project so there's more like nodes and pieces of information and details than I can possibly comprehend at this time it's more of a pattern that I'm noticing that is possible so again if if it's if there's a choice point where we either enter metaphorically or literally a hell realm or a heavenly realm I want to do everything in my power to avoid us entering a hell realm and I want to do everything in my power to steer us towards a heavenly realm, towards a net positive outcome, not just for humans, but for all life on the planet. That's a lot more nuanced than I can convey in a tweet um, or even a thread. But it does feel very important to me, this idea, you know, qualified with all of the asterisks and disclaimers and uncertainties of like, I don't know what's going to happen and I'm not certain about this, but it does seem like things could go poorly and it does seem like there's a chance things could go well. And yeah, if that's true, then I want to make sure things go well. And that's what I want to put my energy and attention and power towards is bringing about a net positive outcome. Importantly, not just for humans, but for all life. Um, so that's what I'm about, really. That's what I'm about right now. To the extent that this vision or intuition or sense making is coming from a place of clarity, that's what I want to be putting my time and energy into in this life, on this planet at this time. I want to be steering us away from a hell realm and towards a heavenly realm. And really, frankly, that's what makes the most sense to me when I look at all of the different activities that I find myself doing. It's like this is the guiding principle behind all of the diverse things that I find myself doing. You know, I look at my days and they're just radically different. I'm engaging a lot of different skills and capacities and different kinds of connections with different people, working on different kinds of projects. And it's all moving in this direction of how can we collectively, as a species at this time on this planet, have a net positive outcome rather than a net negative outcome? How can we avoid a possible hell realm and enter a heavenly realm? Anyway, I'm putting this out, about a 15-minute video, in hopes that uh, it affords some more nuance to the ideas that I shared. And I'm curious to hear what you all think about it. If it sounds crazy to you, let me know. If you think I'm wrong, let me know. If you have ideas for how to bring about a heavenly realm and avoid a hell realm, let me know. 
and I hope you can hear this with the nuance that I'm trying to share in this video. Like, I don't really completely know, but this is my intuition, this is my hunch, this is the sense that I'm making over here. Um, it's incomplete. There's probably information and skills and patterns that you have and are aware of that I'm not. Um, and getting out of this thing, out of the bad outcome and towards a, a better positive outcome is going to require a lot of different coordination from different actors and use of different capacities and so on. So uh, it's going to be a group effort, a team effort <laughs> to work on this thing. And it already is. Other people are already working on it. But I'm trying to put it out there how I see it and how I'm trying to uh, resolve or work through this situation we find ourselves in. Uh, so I'll be curious to hear what you think.